Hi, I'm Joe Compton, and this book review is a little more than just a flutter of darkness. So this review is for Jason Lavelle's A Flutter of Darkness. It is a 15-story collection of dark tales that range from macabre to sick and twisted to basically preying on every single fear, anxiety. This is a very, very interesting, well-crafted collection in that it's not all one note. There are several stories that are kind of like the creep show tales from the crypt variety, like Honey and Waiting and Watching the Badge. These are all smaller tales that kind of hit right away and 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 just sting you, you know. And then there's the kind of Tarantino type stories that are more about aggression and and interesting um, takes on on. Not horror per se, but an interesting way to tell a darker story in the, you know, like Three Brights and a Left and Cold Dead Hands. And then you get into like the Cronenberg, Stephen King, really esoteric stuff. They're really, they're really deep and psychological, interesting stuff. I mean, there's Rowan and Peters, there's Dementia, Lot 187. These are all longer stories that kind of have a build and kind of, you know, take you where they will. A lot of them hit you in the face right away, like Savages, Life of Pets. These are ones that you from sentence one, you're in it, and you're just going to go. And it's just going to keep on building stronger and stronger as you go. And then there's the build ones like Rowan and Peters and Dementia. These take some time to set. They're going to set things up and then hit you with uh, what it wants to hit you with. There is some interesting ways in which Lavelle plays with your mind. He'll take you one way and then he'll stretch you and then he'll hit you right away and then he'll play with you and then he'll twist and turn it. Uh, he uses colors and senses very well. Uh, very, very cinematic. You can see a lot of what you're reading in your head very easily. It's very well thought out in that respect. Uh, it's also very much it's so well written. It's it's very well thought out. It's it's very maniacal and and very. You can see that once you're done reading the story, you can go back and you can see the progression and how it messed with you or how it it tried to uh, scare you or do what it was going to do for you. Uh, it's it's it, and the author probably doesn't want me to say this, but there's some nuggets in there, little little t tidbits that he kind of uses to tie certain elements of certain stories together and certain things that you know if you read all the way through yes you could read each you could read each story on its own and you could read it at your pace and your leisure but if you read the whole thing cover to cover all the way through you'll get a little bit more from it than you would uh, as just reading just one or two of the stories and picking those out uh yes you'll have your favorites and yes there's some strong stories that are stronger than others with any collection that's going to be the case but Lavelle, for the most part, gives you 15 very, very, very good stories, delivers with a punch, and just really packs it full of great stuff. I would not be surprised to see it make my top five for the best of the year. Uh, it is certainly going to be one that I'm going to take and measure a lot of what, what I read the rest of the year, especially in the horror genre with this book. That being said, it's always time to go into now. Even in a flutter of darkness, this has been a flash review.